Hi, this is Zenas from Sendif, and today we're going to show you how to install Google Analytics onto your Shopify store. The first thing that you're going to do is come over to analytics.google.com and you're going to sign in with your Google account. If you don't already have a Google Analytics account, you're going to click on Start Measuring. Or if you do, you're just going to create a new property. So I'm going to click on Start Measuring. On the Account Setup step, the first thing that you're going to enter is your account name. I'm just going to put the same name as my demo shop that I'm showing here. So this will be T-shirt demo. And then we're going to choose what we are going to share with Google. Uh, up to you what you share or not. The next step is something called properties. A property lets you set up multiple locations that you're going to pull information from. So for instance, if you have multiple different shops around the country or in different locations around the world, you can set up different properties. For the purposes of this demo, I'm only going to set up one. T-shirt demo one. And we're going to choose a reporting time zone. I'm in Singapore, so we are going to choose the Singapore time zone. And I'm also going to choose the Singapore dollar. So looking at advanced options, you can create an old universal analytics property. Now, this is the old way of doing analytics, and we don't want to do that. So we're going to skip over that step. Next, we're going to choose business information, and I am going to choose the shopping section. We're going to be a small company, and you can share with Google some of your goals, and that way Google can show you specific ways that you can optimize the way that you use Google Analytics. So for me, uh, I'm going to do these three things, and let's create this. You're going to have to choose also your location here, so you're accepting the correct agreement, and um, also accept the data processing terms. Once you accept the agreement, your Google Analytics account is going to be created. Choose how you want to receive email communications from Google. I don't want to receive anything right now, so I'm just going to skip that step. I'm going to skip their tutorial, and the first thing that we want to do is set up a data stream. This allows us to start collecting data on either our website, Android app, or iOS app. Because this is a store, I'm going to choose web. In order to connect to the right location, I'm going to have to provide Google with my URL. Normally, you would have already assigned a domain name to your Shopify shop, but in this case, I am just going to use the temporary Shopify domain name. Google can be a little finicky, so make sure that you get your exact domain name here, and then you can name your stream. I'm going to name this my T-shirts demo stream, and now I'm going to create the stream. Perfect. Here's where things get a little bit tricky, because in the past with Shopify, you only needed to copy the Google Analytics ID. But now with Google Analytics 4, we are going to have to copy the entire code in order to deploy that to the Shopify shop. It feels a little bit intimidating here, but don't worry. We're going to guide you right through it. Google helpfully says that data collection isn't active for your website, and you can view the tag instructions here. If you need to see this again in the future, you can also come down here and click this at the very bottom. So we're going to click the View Tag Instructions button. Google shows us how to install the tag using a website builder. However, because we're using Shopify, that doesn't apply to us. And you're going to want to click on the Install Manually tab. Now from here, we finally get a little bit of code that we can take over to our Shopify website. I'm going to click on the Copy button here. And you'll see that Google says to install this immediately after the head element of our page. Don't worry if you're not familiar with coding, because this is actually really simple. And I'm going to show you how to protect your website so just in case you mess something up, you'll be able to recover it. Now that we've gone ahead and copied all of this code by clicking the Copy button, let's go over to our Shopify website. You're going to go over to Online Store, click on Themes, and this is our currently active theme. What we want to do to make sure we have a backup is to click on Actions and Duplicate Theme. This will give us a copy of the theme so that we can publish that just in case we mess something up. But honestly, this is going to be pretty simple, so I doubt you'll mess something up. Perfect. Now we have a copy of our theme for those just-in-case scenarios. Now what we're going to do is go to the current theme, Actions, and Edit Code. In the code editor, the files are on the left, and you're going to select 
theme.liquid. Following the instructions from Google Analytics, we want to paste that code right after the head tag. So we're just going to select after that, click Enter a few times, and paste the code. That's it. Click on Save. And we're going to exit out of the editor. Now we're going to test that we set up everything correctly. Click on View Your Store. And we should be able to now go back to Analytics, close this tab, close the web stream details. Now we're going to click on Home to get back to the dashboard. And you, you should now see a notification that the website's data collection is active. And in fact, we can see that we are here on the website. We have one user, and that person is from Singapore. That is me. That is it. That is how you install Google Analytics 4 on Shopify. I hope this tutorial helped you out. If it did, please leave a like on this video and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials in the future.